BUSS1 formulas. Okay, we've made a PowerPoint presentation for BUSS2 where we've got you to learn some formulas. I'm going to do much the same for BUSS1 now and take a look at some of the important formulas that you need to know for your BUSS1 exam, for the AQA exam that you're going to sit. Okay. The first formula we're going to look at is revenue. This is one of the most basic ones you should know. So to calculate revenue, it's basically the selling price per item times the number of items that are sold. Calculating profit is revenue minus costs. Calculating your gross profit is revenue minus cost of sales. To calculate your net, it's revenue minus all your costs. To calculate your break even, it's your fixed costs divided by your contribution. Now we're going to look at what contribution is now. So contribution is calculated by taking your selling price per item minus your variable cost per item. Market share. Now this is one of the more complex ones. It's the sales of the organization that you're looking at divided by the total sales in the market. And it's times 100 because it's a percentage. And last but not least, one formula which is really useful to learn and know is percentage change. To calculate percentage change, you simply do the change divided by the original figure you've got times 100. OK, you've now seen a list of formulas. You may want to go back and watch the video again and then write them all down, or you may be writing them down as you go along. What I suggest you should do is have them written down somewhere or say them back to yourself or try and memorise those formulas you've seen and then cover them up, turn them over, get a new piece of paper and try and write them all back out again. So try and write out all those formulas from memory. See how many you remember. Go back, check your answers. Any that you get wrong, it's really, really important that you look at where you went wrong and then write it out again. Do it all again, write them all back out again. Now, you should hopefully have a score. What I'd like you to do, until you've got every single one of those correct, I would like to keep repeating the cycle. So look at the formulas, check them off, and keep doing it. Keep attempting to write them. If you make a mistake, look at where you've gone wrong, and keep doing the cycle until you can recall every single formula from memory. This should then go to your short-term memory. What you need to do then is come back to this at another day, a later day, ideally, perhaps a day, two days, three days, and practice. It's not the most exciting task to do, however, it's probably one of the most beneficial ones for your exam. Well, that's it. You should now be able to recall all the key formulas you need for your AQA BUSS1 exam. What you need to do is ensure that you revisit these formulas regularly and keep practicing them so that you can answer the longer answers and the shorter answer questions. Don't be afraid to use the formulas in the exam. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and my YouTube channel. You can also tweet me any areas of business which you're not sure about and you want me to cover in the future. And don't forget to check out my fantastic website, bebusinessbee.co.uk.